Today, I decided to make something new. In some of my previous videos, I told you that medical students have to study a lot, especially when exam is knocking at the door. But I have not shown how do I read. And I thought a study with me video is the best to show it to you. And this is the best time also because I have my 7th semester examination in the coming week. Hey there, this is Nivedita Kauri. I am an MBBS student at Makura Shomiloni Medical College, West Bengal. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. You probably know that currently I am in my third year. So I have three subjects. Community Medicine or PSM, ENT and Ophthalmology. This is the Parks textbook on PSM. This is the ENT book by Dr. Manisha Sinha Budhiraja ma'am and here is the ophthalmology book by Dr. A.K. Khurana. Today is 21st February and I will start revising the ENT. I hope to complete the whole ENT within tomorrow. In this video, I will show you how I will study. Let's dive into otorhinolaryngology. You may ask me one question, why I am not reading Dhingra's book? The answer is pretty simple. Dr. Manisha ma'am is there in Marrow and I watched all the videos of ma'am. Her teaching style is just awesome. So reading from this book after watching her videos becomes very easy and the content of the book is more than enough. Also, it's not the first time that I am reading this book. I have read it before. And I believe that reading from a single source for multiple times is better than reading for once from different sources. I am not discouraging anybody from reading Dhingra's book. In fact, I have also read some chapters from Dhingra. So whichever book you feel comfortable with, just stick to that. It is uh, 1.30 and uh, I completed my embryology and anatomy of ear. It took longer than usual time because for the last time I read it a long back and it's a time for uh, my lunch. After having my lunch, I started reading again. After reading for about 2 hours, my brain told me to give it some rest. I decided to take a break. I watered my plants. These are some flowering bryophyllum. I planted them a few years ago. Every winter, they become enchanting red with multiple bunches of flower. And then, I went to the road. You can see a small bird is sitting there and enjoying the sunset. Here's a big neem tree behind my house. It's not just a tree. It's a shelter for so many birds, squirrels and little animals. After spending some time with the sky, the wind and the birds, I came back to my room and I fell asleep. I slept for almost one hour. After some time, I came back to my study table with a cup of tea. I have read the first three chapters from ER and here is a long list which I have to do. So let's start. I started reading again. This time I was reading the diseases of external and middle ear like diffuse and malignant otitis externa, fungal infection of the ear, acute and chronic otitis media and so on. Then I took a small break. This time I and my brother posted a community post on my channel.
but my unfinished task was calling me. So again, I started reading. I read otosclerosis, what's the pathology, what are the clinical features, what is flamingo pink appearance, the findings of audiometric test and how to manage it. Then one by one I completed facial nerve with its disorders and Meniere's disease. After reading all this, I took my dinner and finally went to sleep after completing the last few chapters of year like the Glomus tumor, acoustic neuroma and some auditory devices. A very good morning everyone. Now it is 11.30 am on the next day. I woke up at around 8 am and then I had a cup of tea and did some pranayam and meditation. These things are parts of my morning routine. I try to do meditation and pranayam for at least 10 to 15 minutes every day. And I am doing it for the last 3 to 4 years. I was reading for some time and I had to take some food. And now I am again back to my study table and starting a phrase. So let's start. I started reading the chapters of nose. One by one, I went through the anatomy and physiology of nose, paranasal sinuses, diseases of nasal septum like DNS or deviated nasal septum, diseases of PNS like sinusitis and their complications. Then I read epistaxis or nose bleeding in detail. What is Little's area? What is Kisselbach's plexus? And how a case of epistaxis is managed? And in this way, I completed all the chapters of nose in a single go. Then it was time for a lunch break. I am left with pharynx and larynx. After lunch, I started with pharynx. I read the anatomy of pharynx, then adenoid hypertrophy and angiofibroma. And then I had to take a power nap. After that, I had to study again. I covered the left chapters of the pharynx and started reading the larynx. It didn't take a long time because a few days ago I had read the chapters on both pharynx and larynx. So my NT is complete. I had never imagined to make such a type of study with me video. But finally, I tried. And one thing that I really felt is that it increased my productivity. Because while recording this video, I was in an urge to complete my study. And I hope this will give you some inspiration to study irrespective of which field you belong to. Preparation of exam continues till the time of starting the exam, isn't it? We are all humans, we are bound to forget, but we can try at least. And this is what I tried in this video. 
If you found my efforts valuable, then hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe also. Thanks for watching.